previous q and I'm not a professional, so forgive me. Um, uh, and I, you know, reacted immediately in the affirmative, saying, yes, this is going to go on. We would love to do the email over the next show. We so, so enjoy it. And I'd love to see it. However, first of all, I think it was a very, very first screen, you know, living in his hand and the magazine. Um, and but the movie, but the movie, the movie starts, and uh, uh, you really don't know where the story is going to go. Thank God. <laughs> you really don't know where the story is going to go. Um, so my first question to you, Alexander, is what drew you to this? Is what was the script you credit? You have credit on on the on, 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 on the on the writer. Um, is that the right thing in your life? You get it right on the money. I've made eight feature films, and this is the second one where I don't have a writing credit. And what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've written for myself only out of desperation. I'm training as a director. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nice to write and dress that stuff up, and you know, I'm all for it. But uh, boy, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and I had had this idea for about a dozen years, but hadn't done anything with it. It was on my list. And then I came across uh, David Anderson. Who had had life experience in that world, and I asked him to, to be a big crack at it. Why do you want to do Why do you flirt to this idea? Which is an idea, something set in a, in a school. But specifically, this idea was I had seen a movie at our beloved aforementioned Telluride Film Festival, the 1935 uh, Marshall Plan Oil <laughs> And it had more or less the same premise. I thought, that, that's a good more or less premise for a film. <laughs> and one that could be reinterpreted. So I had I had so many ideas. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we steal ideas from everywhere. Um, so that's how it happened. And then but it was my first experience, let's say directing a writer. You know, I gave him the premise, we hashed out the story together and then he went to town. So you didn't do super graphs on the Later later I did. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, completed a full draft, and I did a pass, did it back to him, and he did a pass, did it back to me, and he did bring it back and forth. And was it with the, was this the world that you were in? Did you go to the no. uh, I, I did go to an all boys private school in my provincial hometown of Omaha, Nebraska, but a Jesuit school. <coughs> Quite different from this Tony atmosphere in which my college, Mr. Giamatti, was raised. Well, there 
was that Peter Beard movie that you were just there? I think people like it because it has the British aura to it. It has this kind of cozy, it's a knockoff of the British. You know, it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's I think, on purpose. They kind of brought it over. You know, and Americans are good at repression, too. Came from me via that aforementioned 1935 French guy. 